Who I have on the line. Hi, it's Maria Bello. Hi, Maria. Thank you so much for joining us here in live in Dallas, Texas on the Belder BB Show. Pleasure, and I love that name. Thank you very, very much. It's very I original. Thank you very much. And it's real, too. Is it? <laughs> it is. Well, I like Maria Bello. We love the work you bring to us as the viewer. Tell me what's your latest project. Well, um, Big Driver, um, it's a movie for Lifetime based on a Stephen King story, and it airs on Lifetime at 8 p.m. on Saturday. And it's one of my favorite movies I've ever done. Tell me why Stephen King, you know, he's not like a huggable, likable story guy in a sense. So tell me why it's one of your favorite movies or one of your favorite projects. The thing about Stephen King's writing, his favorite book of mine is called On Writing, where he talks about being a writer and his story. He's, he seems like such an amazing human being. But all of his stories, as dark as they can be, they always have a little twist and sense of humor about them. Um, and this one is no different. I'm not going to say it's a laugh a minute, but the story is uh, a woman, a young mystery writer, Tess Thorne, whom I play, uh, takes a shortcut way on the way home from a book tour, and she is brutally attacked, and she decides to take her life back into her own hands. Well, that's enough, because you want us to tune in. Let me ask you, what did you bring that was so unique to this project? Um, I think part, part of what I brought that was unique was my work with women around the world for, for years and years who were victims of domestic and uh, sexual violence. And to feel, even in an acting sense, what that would be like was uh, made me more empathetic than I could have imagined, even more empathetic. Well, I think with all the previous media attention, but you know, we're the kind of society, we're only yesterday's news. So with all the previous attention on domestic violence, I think this is a great time for you to say that. Let me ask you, you're on Lifetime. Is this our new little TV screen or our movie screen? Because cable TV has such a, a magnanimous place in well, our society. I'll tell you, the, the, it, it, Lifetime has become this magnet for talent, you know, especially great parts for women and women directors and producers, and, but, but it's also branching out and appealing to larger audiences. This film is literally like a feature film. It could be released as a feature film. Um, so I think, it's the, I think it's the way of the future for sure, and I'm excited about working with them. Well, let me, that's a great comment for you to make said uh, it's reaching a broader audience. Now, I knew Lifetime to almost mirror the news, what was happening in society. You could see a, a movie on Lifetime. Is that kind of what the Stephen King movie is, or it doesn't fall into that genre? Oh, no, it doesn't fall into that genre at all. This okay. is, I'm, I'm telling you, this is a movie on its own that you wouldn't have expected to see on Lifetime, and it's on Lifetime, and it's brilliant. And I also well, love I mean, Lifetime movies. I do. I call it my Sunday, sitting my robe, cover up guilty pleasure. That's the only time I really get to watch it, but I love it. I love it, too. Well, we're going to love it now that you're on there. When is your um, movie airing, and when do you want us to watch? Big Driver, this Saturday night at 8 p.m. on Lifetime. Well, I will get my tea, my robe, and my throat, and I will be watching you, Maria Bello. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Valder. I appreciate it. Thanks for being my guest, and thanks for the great compliment. Thanks. Bye.